the CSAB is made up not of Elsevier employees in a way, but made up by researchers themselves who've gone through many of the same processes that we now try to uh, formalize on the CSAB. The purpose of the uh, Scopus Content Selection Advisory Board is to refresh the content of the database, uh, to curate uh, the database, uh, and to increase the diversity of the journal coverage uh, within the Scopus database. CSAB provides expert advice in particular subject areas, which gives me an idea of which particular journals are likely to be of use to an international audience. It's really to make sure that the, the journals we acquire for Scopus are, are really the best and are journals that people will want to use. It evaluates the, the journals to ensure the quality of Scopus database because we monitor um, not just the journals we put in there but all the ones that are already in there. It's a big responsibility to try and improve and maintain the quality of the journals, which means scientific knowledge, out there. The purpose of the board is uh, to um, try and set up some uh, uh, rules uh, for evaluating uh, journals titles that are submitted to Scopus. Ultimately our, our job is to identify the quality of journals, but we go beyond that as a group and try and identify those journals that are not playing by the rules, that are predatory, that take advantage of naive uh, uh, investigators. The original purpose which we set out to do was simply to help Elsevier as an independent board to develop processes which would help them to sift out quality journals. We also um, talked to the Scopus team about things like um, the interfaces, the design, various different projects that they're doing and we try to provide some more strategic feedback in that arena. The advisory board is uh, very essential to make sure that there's quality uh, research available to academics and students and teachers throughout the world. I also like to think that we're totally unbiased and not beholden to anyone.